everybody, today we're going to make fried mozzarella. Let's get cooking. For our fried mozzarella, we're making fresh marinara. I'm using 12 cherry tomatoes from a medley mix and just cutting them in half lengthwise. And then for the garlic, I am using a garlic presser, so I'm just peeling them and removing any ugly bits. Then in a small pan set to medium low, add about one tablespoon of oil. Once it's hot, toss in your tomatoes. Let them cook for a few minutes before adding salt, dried basil, pepper, and your garlic. Get everything nice and mixed up and let it cook for another minute. You want to make sure the tomatoes are releasing their juices and that the garlic isn't burning. But if your pan isn't too hot, you should be fine. After another minute, go ahead and add about two ounces of water. Then we're just going to let that stew until most of the water is cooked out. Once it has this kind of consistency, go ahead and remove it from the heat. Now for the cheese, I have a one pound block of whole milk mozzarella, but I will only be frying half of it. So I'm cutting it in half and then cutting slices between a quarter and a half inch thick. Then for our coating, we've got flour, seasoned breadcrumbs, and three eggs. I am also adding just a splash of water for a better consistency. Now it is time to bread. If you have watched anyone bread before, there are certain techniques to make the process easier, but you do whatever makes it easy for you. Cooking is supposed to be fun, and if you're too worried about doing the right way, then well, you're not gonna have fun. But the order is simple. Coat your cheese with flour, dip it into the eggs, give it a toss in breadcrumbs, dip it once more in the eggs, and then one final toss in the breadcrumbs before setting it on a tray. Then repeat with all your slices, flour, egg, breadcrumbs, egg, breadcrumbs, until you're finished. Then take your tray and set it into a freezer for a maximum of 10 minutes. Then after those 10 minutes, once you've got frying oil between 350 and 375, it's time to fry. Fry in batches so as to not overcrowd. I found four to be a good number. And then fry until golden brown. It took no longer than a minute for mine to get golden and crispy. Then just repeat with all your slices. Once all your cheese is fried, get them plated. And of course, we're gonna show a cheese pull. And what a pull it is. If you enjoyed the recipe, please leave a like down below and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the kitchen next time.